Oh, yeah. 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 The president was in Iganga district to officiate at the launch of the new vaccine against pneumonia. President Museveni asked Ugandans to treat immunization of children with the seriousness it deserves. The president says immunization will help to counter the deaths of children from preventable diseases. This vaccine is intended to prevent pneumonia among infants. According to 2012 health statistics, about 27,000 children die of pneumonia annually. Pneumonia is described as a severe inflammation of lungs usually caused by a bacterial infection. The president noted that the introduction of the vaccine is one way of fighting poverty in many parts of the country. President Museveni also urged Ugandans to maintain cleanliness to avoid contracting diseases. Now, if health is wealth, what are the measures that are needed to ensure that we live a healthy life? Requirement number one, vaccination. Number two, hygiene. Number three, nutrition. Number four, clean water. The president also proposed legal sanctions against parents who deliberately refuse to take their children for immunization. I'm asking them, what would they say if we were to legislate to criminalize failure by parents to bring children for immunization. I've given it to them as homework. They will think about it and, and give me their feedback. The Nimokoko vaccine will now be administered for free at all public health centers across the country. The health experts hope to roll out the vaccine to all parts of the country in three months. The introduction is expected to save government about 2.5 billion shillings annually on medical costs. The government estimates that the immunization exercise will help save around 24,000 children from dying. This suggests that at least 1.4 million children will be immunized with PCV10. One out of every four deaths in children has been attributed to pneumonia, a figure that is higher than deaths caused by HIV AIDS, malaria, and measles combined. According to UNICEF, the disease kills approximately 1.6 million children below five years, making it the world's leading killer of children. Suhail Mugabe, NTV, Weekend Edition.